everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at what is tied for my favorite Class C motorhome in the entire industry. This is a 2021 Jayco Greyhawk model 29MV. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Greyhawk and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at what is tied for my favorite Class C motorhome, the Greyhawk. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea, welcome back. Hi everybody. How's it going? It's good, you guys, I missed you so much. And yes. you know, so much has changed. I'm so excited to be here today, you guys. Where is I, here? I want to give a big shout out. Thank you so much to RV1 of Tampa, Florida, who let us come here today to do some videos for you guys. Yes, phone number 813-659-0008. We do not work for them, but we appreciate them letting us record here yes. today. Thank you so much, RV1. Yes. Now, you guys might be wondering, uh, this is the first Jayco motorhome on the show. So here's what's really interesting about it. Oh yeah, what is different, Matt, about so this? This is a Jayco Greyhawk. It is a step above um, an Odyssey 29V, but a step below an Esteem 29V. So you still get all the nice qualities, middle price point, and two AC units. Oh, Very nice. exciting. Model is 29V, Andrea. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet, five inches. This is a Jayco Greyhawk. Now this one is already sold, but the 2022s, they're starting to come in. So make sure you call RV1 if you like this because the 2022s are gonna be very similar. Right up here, we do have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap. As you can see, the front cap goes over and the seam is right here. So it's less likely to leak. It is powered on the E450 chassis, and it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the hand cooks. Dynapros. Yes. They are the uh, LT225-75R16. And then right here, Andrea, we do have nice chrome mirrors on the left side, right side with cameras integrated in both of them. Coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. We're not gonna put it out today um, just because we're so close to the other motorhome. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And check this out again. This has the J-Ride Plus, which is just like the Easy Ride Elite. So when you step up to the Greyhawk, you get the nice features. But if you want something like an Esteem, you go to the Greyhawk Prestige. Again, this is that nice hybrid of giving you both of them. Right here, Andrea, we do have storage. Nice. And it looks like we have speakers on the outside. Yes, ma'am. Nice frameless windows. Slam latch doors. Right here's your propane tank. Okay. And then right here, bing. That's all the specs about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything about this RV. Right here, we do have our water heater, okay? Right there, we do have very nice storage. A mud dauber screen already on the exhaust right there. And then right here, we do have very nice storage. Propane quick connect if you wanna have a grill on the outside. And then right here, is a ton a ton of storage wow very nice coming around the back we do have a nice bumper good for your stinky slinky seven oop, let me get over here first seven thousand five hundred pound hitch this motorhome can tow seven thousand five hundred pounds Here's your tail light design, and you do have a backup camera right there. Sorry guys, I'm at an awkward angle. Yes, and we're not gonna climb up on the roof today. Yay! But here's what's very nice. It is a one-piece fiberglass roof with two air conditioning units. Nice. 
right over here is the other side of that storage. Wow, there's a lot of storage on here. Yes, right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. Very nice. Your unleaded, uh, unleaded flu, your fuel <laughs> fill up is right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have a place for your outdoor shower, city water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Andre, this is a storage machine. It sure is. More storage. Okay. More storage. Love how this is vented. Yes, and the generator's right there vented. It is an Onan 4000 generator. All right. Well, Andre, the outside of the Gray Hawk looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, he does skip at different dealerships. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys. I'm Cargo so carry excited. capacity 1433. All right, here we are. Okay, um, slide is in. It's very, very similar to its sister product, the Integra. Andrea, the slide out is in. That's this is what it's like when you're driving Look down at the road. This. You can still use this 99%. Look at this, guys. Amazing walkway. And let's see. Nice bathroom. And you could still use the bed. Very nice. Now, Andrea, while the slide out is coming out, we want to give a huge thanks to uh, everybody who's been watching. And big shout out again to RV1 of Tampa, Florida. Uh, they this this one is sold, but they they're the number one Jayco dealership in the country. So um, if you guys have any questions, give them a call and they'll be able to find you one. And I'm just super excited to be bringing you guys a whole bunch of new stuff. Yes, and we'll have their number at the bottom of the screen. Yep, yep, for sure. Andre, let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Look at this. Mm. Oh, very nice driver's seat. 7.3 liter V8, very nice. You got your adjustable windows here, power right there. Here's your screen to, again, see your left side, right side, and reverse side. Cameras, cup holders, everything right here. Very, very nice driving experience. Andrea, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? Sure. Ooh. Very comfortable. Yes. <laughs> I, I should have put it back before I sat down. Oh, very comfortable, lots of space. I like that, you know, there's nothing behind me so I can recline the seat back mm -hmm, like this mm -hmm. while, you know, Matt's driving. I can take a nap yes, here. Yes, yes. <laughs> very nice. Very comfortable. Yes, ma'am. Not intimidating. I did forget to mention this does have the auto levelers. Okay. And then right up here, Andre, we have the bunk over the cab. Now look how big this is. It sure is. Just like the Jayco. I mean, this is the Jayco. Just like the Integra product, Andrea. It holds 750 pounds. Wow. We got your nice big window right there. Ladder storage and everything is so nice. Back there, you guys. Mm -hmm. Privacy curtain. And it looks like we got the TV right here. TV with the DVD player. Very nice. It swings out to, so you can watch from the living room area. Now, Andrea, a farmhouse, okay? So many people love the farmhouse, but they also want two AC units. With the Esteem product, you cannot get that. You can only get the farmhouse and the Odyssey, and the Odyssey currently only offers the option with one AC unit. This unit, you can get the farmhouse plus the two AC units, which wow, is very, Wow, that's a win-win. Win. Nice. Yes, nice cabinetry storage above. And I do like that they have the light above the slide. Yes, ma'am. Um, right here, is your balances. How do you like them? I, I, I don't like the balances. Andrea never is like the farmhouse and the... This see, is Southwestern. Well, well, I was testing you because Andrea didn't like the balances in the Integra. So I was testing her to see if she liked them in Oh, here. I'm very consistent. But here's what is nice. You do get the slow rise privacy shape. Nice. And theater seating. Mm -hmm. Which is very nice. You kick this out and then we are looking directly across Caddy Corner to where the TV is. All right, and then right over here, Andre, is the dinette. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. Do we have storage underneath? Okay, we do have storage underneath. Oh, right there. nice. And it looks like Jayco does not use the piano hinges, just, uh -oh. like, just like Integra doesn't. Well, no big deal. Maybe. 
we uh, give a shout out to Jamie. Yeah, that Jamie might be from Jayco. And they can start doing. Well, they, they will. They will get it soon. And then this does drop down to make a bed. Very nice. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burm, 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 burm. So guess what, Andrea? I don't currently know what the MSRP for the 2022 Jayco is. Down below, we have a link to RV1 to, so you can see all their Jayco Greyhawks. And I'll, I will also have a link to Jayco's website so you can build your own 2022 Jayco. Hey everyone, so I just want to give everybody an update. Looks like Jayco just updated their website literally over the past couple days. So I do have a link to Jayco's website down below and we are looking at the 2022 Greyhawk 29 MV. So this shows you the interior color choices that they have and the exterior color graphics. You can get full body paint as an option. So right now, as it stands on Jayco's website with no options, you're looking at an MSRP of 143,543, but that doesn't have the option for the dual AC units. So here's what I'm gonna tell everybody. Right now with no options, if you got a Jayco uh, 29 MV Greyhawk, you're looking at an MSRP of 143, 534. Now, if we get the full body paint, the modern farmhouse interior, dual AC units, the bigger fridge, this, the front entertainment, the aluminum rims, the fold-up shades, and even if we add the Canadian standard package, which is only for Canadians, uh, the highest at the MSRP range is going to be 163519 Again, it always just depends on how you option the motorhome. Again, big shout out to RV1. Phone number is 813-659-0008. Let them know you're interested in this unit and they will build one for you and price it for you. Just make sure you tell them that you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews and they're going to take extremely good care of you. Andrea, let's continue the video. Wow. <laughs> that was so short. I'm used to it, you know, being a lot longer. Okay. Yes. Here is the kitchen, everybody. Look at this. I Beautiful. Love this. All the counter space. Yes. All right, so we got a nice cabinet here. Yes, ma'am. And let's see, we got a tower of power. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yay, and they give you a shade. Love the slow rise love shades. That. Okay, we got three drawers. Nice size. Mm hmm. Good size drawers. We got more cabinets. Very nice. Double sink. Okay. Interesting that, you know, they don't give you an extension, but that's okay. Yeah, that's definitely a different faucet that I haven't seen before. Got cabinet on here. Nice place for a trash can. Yes, ma'am. We got three more drawers over here. Okay. A bigger one down here. Yes. Okay. Over here, we got another cabinet. Very nice. And a microwave. Mm -hmm. Good size. We got a three burner Furion propane cooktop yes. with this glass cover. Yes, ma'am. And that's interesting. Is that so it doesn't hit? I no, what that's, I, that, that's a magnet if you want to. Oh, put, yeah. Yep, like the spices. Dual. Yep, yeah. whatever. Cool. I like this. Uh, the backsplash is very cute. I kind of wish they'd go more around, though. And you got an oven, which is great. Very nice. And then we have the two-way refrigerator. Runs off your propane and your short power. Yes, ma'am. And, oh, look at this. Very oh, nice. great pantry. Very, very nice. Love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Cool. It's now time for the bathroom. Look at the shower. This is a very nice 30 by 36 foot shower. Not foot. 30 by 36 shower. Very nice, big, spacious glass door plenty of height and i love this bar andrea this is so you can um hang close exactly make all the use out of all the space so the door here uh-huh you can close that right there with the magnet yes that way if you need privacy and you're in the shower and i like the two-tone colors very nice bathroom here a little place for you to hang up a toilet madison cabinet right here so Good nice size. yep great sink and they gave you, it looks like, Matt, two little drawers over there. They sure did. All right. One, awesome. two. It's now time for the toilet test. Oh, no. Plastic? Plastic. Oh, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Plastic toilet. Cannot give it a prime pooping position, but Andrea, the good thing is, it is in a good place, and you can always swap out your toilet for a prime, for a porcelain toilet. No big deal. What I rather have, honestly, is the two AC units anyways. Exactly. Because you cannot add a second AC unit 
but you can't add a porcelain toilet. Right. And we do have an accordion door here on yes. the master. Yes. Okay, into the master bedroom. We have a nice queen size bed, plenty of walk around. And then Andrea, look, when the slide out was in, the only access you lost was to these two right. drawers. When the slide out is in, you're still able to access the whole motorhome, which I absolutely love. Right here, we do got storage Great there. size wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Storage here. Lots of drawers. Gives you four, four drawers. You got, oh, you even got storage behind the TV. Yes, ma'am. Let me get over here to see this wardrobe. Yes. Okay, very, very nice. And then we got storage right here as well. Very big drawer. Okay, Matt. So we got the queen size bed here. Yes. It looks like co it's comfortable. It looks like a pillow top. Storage above. LED lights. I love the side windows. And they have the, yep, for cross ventilation, which is nice. And they do give you a little nightstand on both. Yep. And oh, oh look. there is storage from the outside. Wow, that's awesome. Very nice. Well, Andrea. As nice as it is and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about the Jayco Greyhawk and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, we're gonna end on a positive note. I love that. First thing I dislike about it, my opinion, this accordion door here. Not a huge fan of it. It is no big deal because you do have this door to kind of make it private from one side to the other. I just, I'm not, we're never a fan of the accordion doors and, and I know they can do, you know. I was gonna say that. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so yeah. that's number one. I do have a number two. Okay. The TV being in the bunk over the cab. Did I just take, take your second one as you well? You sure did. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's very nice to have the TV. Um, It's very nice to have the TV when it's directly across, but when it's in the bunk over the cab, you, you kind of have an obstacle in the way. It's no big deal. You're not in the RV to watch TV. It's just something that I'm not a huge super fan of. So that's number two. And then Andrea, number three? Um, You know, there's not much I can say. I got to pick the balances. Yes. Only because I've been seeing it for how long now? Yep. It just doesn't, the Southwestern doesn't belong in the farmhouse. Okay, so okay. that's my dislike. You picked my other two. Yes. So. And what's funny is when when we do the uh, Integra products, um, what's nice about this? No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you guys in a second. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Follow me, Andrea. So when we do the Integra Odyssey, my dislike is always the little twisty doors. Yes. This one, it gives you these slam latch doors, which I absolutely love. I hate the little twisty doors. The slam latch doors on this unit is super, super nice. That's number one. Andrea, number two? Uh, number two, I gotta say, I really like all the counter space you get in here. Okay. And I like the fact that, okay, and I'm gonna go number two as well. Oh, you're gonna combo it. Actually, I have a whole set number two to like. Give it to me. Okay. The fact that when this slide is in, yes. you can use 100% of your motorhome. 99. That, 99. That yes. is fantastic. Yes, let's do it again. We're, like you're able still to get to, you know, your bed. The bed was in. You can still get to the kitchen. You can still use it. So, you know, that's great. You don't even have to put it out. Yes. And the fact of the matter is, guys. Room. Yes. The fact of the matter is, guys, slide outs, they do break. Yes. Doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, they can and will break eventually going down the road. But the fact that if this slide broke, you can still use your whole motorhome, it's not gonna ruin your trip, it's exactly. fan freaking fantastic Exactly, I love it. And then Andrea, I have number three. Okay. The fact that this is, here's what I'm gonna love. It's better than a Red Hawk slash Odyssey, but it's cheaper than the Esteem slash Greyhawk Prestige. It's that nice middle price point giving you the quality and the luxuries and especially the two AC units. Yes. Especially down here in Florida, Andrea. Oh, you need those two AC Yeah, we don't units. have the two AC units <laughs> on if everybody was wondering. 
Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you want to get in contact with me or Andrea or anybody on our team, always go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. If you want more information on this unit, we have a link down to RV1 of Tampa, Florida down in the description below. Again, big shout out to them, 813-659-0008. We are now 100% independent. We don't work for any RV dealerships. We work for you, the viewers, and we're gonna bring you, Andrea, you know what we're gonna bring them? Everything. Everything, say Everything. it again. Everything. Everything. Everything, we're so excited, you guys. Yes. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike, because Jayco will be reading the comments. Yes. And they are interested to see what you guys have Hi, Jane. Hey, hi Jamie and uh, yeah you guys we are super excited this is a brand new venture for us uh, we appreciate your loyalty and your support and yeah just hang in there it's gonna be a fun ride yes and a uh, fun fact of the day uh, Andrea's first motorhome she ever sold was a the yes. very first Jayco Alante yes. ever in production. <laughs> ever. <laughs> yep, yep. So great job great to that. Great way to start out. And we're excited to be showing Jayco's and other brands that you haven't been seen on the show. And thank yes. you to everybody thank who's you, helping. Thank you, RV1 of Tampa. Yes. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.